This guy is my favorite guy ever. I bow to this guy. This okay. Is, this is in the New York Post. A con man is, is now up to 35 girlfriends. Whoa. At one time. And what is the fraud, you ask? I mean, you could date as many people as you want. Sure. Yeah. There's no, I mean, if, if you're not serious with somebody, if you haven't had the talk about like, are we boyfriend, girlfriend, you can do whatever you want. But to make the New York Post, it's it's not that big of a deal. Unless you're married to all 35, then, <gasps> that, then that's a problem. But he's not married to them. Oh, okay. But what he does do is he tells them it's his birthday on different days. <laughs> <laughs> So he's a 39-year-old part-time worker with no address, told Mm -hmm. each of his girlfriends that his birthday fell on different dates so he could receive gifts. And free dinner and probably sexual favors. So each he's talked each girl to giving him like a thousand bucks worth of presents, (gasps) clothes, and money. How long is he dating them for? I mean, he's got to be dating them long enough. Like if you're OK, so if you're in like the first month or two of a relationship, you want to like pour it on. It's his birthday. I want to show him he better be super hot. Please tell me he's like super hot. I, I, I he's a guy. I don't know. I mean, he's do, do, do they have the picture? Yeah, it's it, he's 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 just the guy. He's a, show he's, me the picture. Oy vey. <laughs> it's on a different computer. I can't show you the picture. Okay, fine. So I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and Google it right now okay. as we speak. It, it, just bring up Con Juan. C O N Juan. Okay, Con Juan. Yeah. So he he's busted. So all the girls found out about each other, and they went to the police, banded together, a la John Tucker Must Die. Okay. Because he's pulling this huge romance scam on them. Uh, his name is Takashi right. Miyagawa. He's 39. I mean, he's, you know, he's handsome. <laughs> so he's so far, he's up to $2 million that he's Ooh. scammed women out of. How is that possible? Because uh, last year he talked an 80 year old woman into her life savings. Oh, that's sad. But I just wonder how you got 35 girlfriends. How how do you pull this off? Um, you're not looking for hot women. You're not looking for smart women. You're not looking for women that get whatever they want. You're looking for women that are like super lonely or have just gotten broken up with or are vulnerable. You know, you're looking for women that, you know, don't have a lot of. They have a lot of time and not a lot of things to do and. You've come along and they have money and they're like, whatever, it's a good time, you know, or they're women that are like, you know, he must be pouring it. Look, con men are good at what they do. They con you. They con people into believing something that is physically untrue. Like, like they can see in front of their faces, you know, something that is completely untrue, but yet they don't want to believe it. That's what con men do. That's what's so good about them is, I mean, not, not good, but that's why they're so good at what they do because they make you defy your own eyes. Well, I think dating five women would be the limit because there's only so many days in a week. Right. So if you say, okay, we're going to go out on Monday, the next one you go go out on Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then you, you switch days. But how do you do it with 35? Well, no, you don't go out with you can't be serious with 35 women because every woman wants to see you, you know, why aren't you here tonight? What about tonight? You can't be in that place in a relationship where they're wanting to be with you every single day. You got to be really casual. And that's what keeps them strung along, you know? But then he says, Hey, by the way, next Monday, my birthday. Right. So I really like, uh, I don't know, Gucci. (laughs) If you're going to buy something for me, Gucci, but then how do you, keep track of their birthdays how do you keep track of their names how do you that would drive me crazy he probably he goes on his phone he goes to notes he's probably like you know sarah redhead 42 birthday september 40 september 14th you know it'll be 43 like whatever so when she texts them he goes okay notes sarah no kids Okay, got it. Right. 
that's what I mean. He's got to he's got to keep copious notes. There was a famous story like this with a guy that kind of swindled. Not as many. It wasn't 35 women, but I think it was like in the 20, it was like 22 women, something like that. It was on the ID channel um, because and it was weird because he he didn't kill anybody, but he was swindling them out of their like life savings and convincing them that they were the one. And a couple of them he married, even though the marriages were illegal. Mm-hmm. So he married them and he uh, put them on his life insurance and put him on, you know, got his name on their life insurance and the deeds to their houses. This one woman, he took her house, her boat, her car, her entire bank account, and then split. See, I can understand that if you're only dating, I don't know, three women, you can handle that. <laughs> but 35, I have a problem with that. I I can't remember people's names now. Right. <laughs> if I'm going out on, hey, uh, Jack, I, Sarah, I mean, you know. That no, way. but that's your sole job when you're when you're somebody who is a con person, a con man, con woman. That's your job. It's part of your job uh, to keep the con going. So part of the con is, you know, especially the long con, knowing everything about the person, knowing what you want from them and then methodically going about getting. I mean, these people are sociopaths. So They're he's sitting sociopaths. at home studying. That's what he's doing. Sure. On, he may have on one on of those Monday. walls like 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 a murder wall where he has got With a, the a strings. picture picture and strings you know <laughs> four kids two houses one car you know whatever this one has the best chance of getting the most money and this one is the best in bed and the, yeah oh i can imagine right yeah i mean they're, they're not looking for a partner they're looking for somebody to swindle and where's that room usually in their house isn't it like behind their closet like you have to yeah. push the clothes back and it, there's a room back there. <laughs> right. <laughs> that one of the girls finds that room, <laughs> sees the springs. And first thing you think is killer, but no, it's, he's the scamming you out of birthday right. presents. He really likes cake. That's he really like. Can you imagine if he wasn't taking any money? He just really liked cake <laughs> and birthdays. You have to want treat birthday me cake every night special because it's my birthday. So, yeah, you'd have to put that in, in your notes, too. I told Sarah my birthday is April 1st. I told right. Jackie my birthday is May. April 2nd, April 3rd, April 4th. Right. Right. But that's see, that's how you know it's a guy and not a woman. A woman doesn't want to have that many birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're not real birthdays, you kind of do because women have birthday months. Right. You know, they like the birthday. They they don't like the advanced date where they grow older, but you like people treating you a certain way and buying you things. Uh, I've got a friend going through that right now. She just turned 40 and I'm like, when is your birthday even? Cause it's like every day there's a new 40 celebration. Like now we're going here. Now we're going there. Now we're doing this. Now we're doing that. And I'm like, how many days are you having this birthday? For? Like, what do you like when we were 30? It was one thing to be like, it's my birthday month. Mm-hmm. But I mean, by 40 and she has two kids, like really, we're still doing birthday month. Not just birthday weekend, not just like a couple of days. No, she's doing full on birthday month. She has all kinds of plans. Um, If you've been vaccinated, of course, she's not just inviting people willy nilly, but she has. I mean, there's a new event every single day. I've never seen anything like it. I'm like, you're 40. (laughs) Stop it. (laughs) (laughs) But if she had 35 boyfriends, she could get 35 different things because it's a big birthday. That's the one you can say. It's my 40th. You should take me to an island you should you know they want to do something special on the big birthday right you know when it's the 42nd birthday it's not really that big where was this guy when my mother was around like i've never dated a guy with money like with a capital m do you know what i mean like he the fact that he finds women who can afford him and afford his lifestyle is amazing like i i'm usually i don't think about someone's bank account just like do i like them is all i go with and then if they have a job awesome but that's so not on my to-do list Mm -hmm. um the fact that his priority is how much money do they have like when he meets somebody else who's homeless or jobless or on unemployment you know he obviously doesn't go down that road he later you know what i mean he knows to say later so he susses that out from the very beginning he's very good at figuring out like who has a job and who doesn't right he's more interested in their car than they are of his car yeah he's he's saying oh what what do you do for a living oh well I can get better presents out of this girl. Yeah. The the sad thing is that there's actually women that he conned that probably think he really cared about them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's you know, who, the bad thing. But yeah. they bought him things and they fell for it. And for the twentieth day in a row, when you ask him to come over and he has an excuse, right? You know, red see, flag. Now you, you always I'm I'm so cynical. Now you know why I'm so cynical about men in relationships. There you go. 